All right, next day, getting ready to do this head here. Need to uh, clean up some stuff. Cause I wanna do the valves right here. Um, yeah, I went down to the hardware store, got a couple O-rings for this. I'm not sure if it calls for O-rings, but I feel like it can't hurt. I'm gonna double check the manual, make sure it doesn't say anything about that in there. Um, for right now, now that I'm a fabricator, I'm gonna need a nice tap handle. Like I said, I just went to the hardware store, got some cleaning supplies lined up to go for the valve stands. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get cleaned up, see where that gets. I right, got that breather box back in there. Yeah, got those O-rings on tape. Oh. All right, got the head uh, down here ready to go. I was just pulling off the gasket and I was noticing that this is the same spot. This is the third intake manifold gasket that's failed right there. So I'm going to take some extra special attention to what's going on. Flip you upside down right there. There's definitely some shit going on. So I'm going to make sure that's absolutely cleaned. Um, obviously. But this is where we're looking with the uh, heads here. On the valves. Beautiful. I pulled these two out because those are the ones that were in between the head bolt I was trying to get to. Good. Yeah. Glad I get to throw these away and not not mess with them. Because as I was pulling them out, I was right off the bat. This one's bent. Could have been me fucking around. But, alright. Get this guy drained, which is what it's doing. And then I can uh, plop it up here. And I got it all nice and cleaned off. Ready to go, by the way. If you use actual latex gloves, they're way cheaper. This exhaust manifold isn't actually all that bad. Uh, if I remember correctly, I just, just replaced this not too long ago. A little bit of iffy, iffy. We'll see. Clean it up. Might be pretty good. I don't see any structural integrities. Yeah. Maybe reuse it. I got it all drained up here. Uh, I think I'm going to start with taking off the timing belt, back of the timing belt cover. Just some random crap. Take everything off the head, get it all stripped down to just the head. Just wanted to record where these little gaskets go. One right here. Looks like that guy. Yay. I'm starting to find out where some of these gasket pieces go. And this guy goes around the bottom there. Yay, looks like I'll get to use some of my gaskets after all. Um, I'm wondering if there's a VTEC one. Alright, there's the intake side. Wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad at all. Got the uh, transmission side there, nice and cleaned, and over here, that's pretty good and clean too, reckon. Uh, back side, let me set you down, flipping it over, flipping it over, right. and this is the exhaust side, a little bit of oil dripping down from just flipping it, but other than that, it was about as good as it's going to get. I might hit this up with a little bit of 2000 sandpaper. Alright, now that I got it all cleaned up, I'm ready to take these guys off. Um, I actually forgot that I own this thing, so using it for the first time, I pulled it out. It's got a couple of these um, bars that come with it. This is what it is. It's like 15 bucks, something like that, on Amazon. And it comes with like five or six different sizes here, and then a bunch of these. It took me a second to figure out what's going on. But this and it like sits in there and whatnot but one of these has a hole in it and then you use that to just kind of line these guys up and then twist it down and it seems to work great so shit yeah shit yeah it's a couple turns and it's already ready to come off so this is awesome this is awesome all right so i got the uh exhaust side valve springs off I'm gonna work towards the thing. I'm gonna keep them separate, keep them in different solo cups. It's because I noticed that these have orange on them. So I'm assuming that, you know, I don't know. So I'm assuming that those are uh, marked specifically for intake side. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave them there. Ooh, exhaust valves. Yowzer. Yowzer. Crazy. Uh, intakes. Beautiful. 
beautiful. Got them all out. Let's take a look at the C2. Mm, I wonder which side was exhaust. Yeah, it's gonna... Shit, I might take one of the old ones and just bust up some of this crap. Oof, duh. Oh, this will be fun. This will be fun. At least it doesn't have to be like smooth. We're gonna do one last look at the dirty here before we start doing the clean here. Yeah. It's two. Oh, I'm at a weird angle. Three. Four. All right. So my plan is industrial, professional, commercial use. Because I live too far from anywhere that sells fucking carb cleaner. Even the local hardware store. Thanks True Value, you suck. Alright, let's give it a shot. Alright, you got both sides look like this. Completely filled them up. Wait a couple minutes. Oh yeah, just coming over to this side. Oh, perfect timing. Just coming over to this side, you can see it is. <laughs> it's only been like, took me like two minutes to fill these up. When the other side filled them up came back over here and it's already just literally just falling out that's awesome maybe i'll keep shooting it from the intake side and i'll just keep pushing it out I like when i hand gesture and it's like off camera so you can't even see what i'm doing so yeah just push it from back there and just push your way up wow that is cool love it easy off commercial use Ooh. Oh man. Oop da. Ooh, I think I just heard my laundry done. Oh yeah, that's just. Yeah. Let's clean this up. Just did a quick uh, rub my finger in there and kind of wiped it around. Really happy with the uh, way it looks already. So I'm going to start doing round two. Also, started doing a little bit up here. All right, now they're all cleaned out as best I could for my first run. I'm gonna let this thoroughly dry and I'll be hitting it up a little bit more. Sorry, my I'm trying to get this in the sun so it'll dry. Not sure well you can see that. Those came out pretty good and clean. I'm happy. Um, that is, of course, the exhaust side bad side so here's the good side nice and cleaned up yeah buddy let me set you down there's the back of the head like I said I still got a little bit of some touch-up spots to do I'm just gonna let this sit in the Sun in the beautiful sunny rain let me see Yeah, so let this guy sit in the sun and the wind and dry out. Whew. Man, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with how clean this came out. Hopefully the uh, oven off. I was a little scared because it started to turn like this crazy blue color. And I was afraid it was gonna like oxidize the aluminum or something. And but it looks all right. It doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna suck down the little channel here. All right. Whew. Calm down for a little bit now. Not sure if I got a shot of how dirty this guy was. It's the back of the cover. I'm pretty sure I did. But went ahead and got that dude cleaned up. That oven shit works awesome. But it's a little bent. If you look at it, it's as my I like to say, as I like to say, askew. You put it on there and it looks askew. Uh, so because I know this has a bolt here and a bolt here. You might want to see that. So I'm thinking, even if I push really hard against that, it still doesn't want to line up. So I think I'm gonna hit this with a heat gun and get it to mold back as best I can. All right, so took uh, some bamboo bamboo skewers and went through and got a little bit more done. Some of this stuff is just kind of free floating in there; it won't come up. But uh, the coup de gras here is that I went through trying to find the exhaust side. Went through each one of these, and with the exception of the inside portion of them, which aren't that bad, 
it just like, need a quick little brushing, but even the bad part, it came out really nice. It got really good. Um, there is some little bit I have left to do, but not a whole lot. And then on the intake side, might as well be freaking brand new. They're gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, bottom side went through with the bamboo skewer. Enough said. That's about that. All right. All right. I got this guy back in here. Cleaned up pretty close to what I'm going to get. I just got a couple little spots here that I want to hit up with a Dremel and a brass brush, but I want to wait until tomorrow until I go to the store. So I'm all set up, ready to go here. My my lapping station, laptastic, laparific. Man, I love how clean that fucking thing is. Oh, it's cleaner in here than it does out there. God damn it. All right, so. Um, I think that's it for tonight. Yeah. Alright. Maybe tomorrow. Back at it. So I just put some acetone into a red solo cup, trying to get my valve keepers, and set it over here, and it turned back like a couple minutes later, and it's fucking melted. Like, melted. Uh, like an awesome person I am, I just picked it up, and of course the bottom fell out, and all my valve keepers went all over the place. So I'm going to have to deal with that right now. Uh, future reference, red solo cups do not deal with acetone. <laughs> Should have known that. Well, that's fucked up. Uh, I managed to find all of them. All of the valve keepers, but I can't find the last spring retainer. No matter where the hell I look. It's been a half hour now, I've been looking. At least 20, 25 minutes, and I cannot, for the life of me, figure where the hell that thing went. It's, at least it's the big one, and not the valve keeper. I don't know. I'll find it when I have to find it. What a wrench, just throwing a wrench in my day. All right, we're on this guy. Got my Dremel set up. Nice new brass brush. Going to uh, pull these valve keepers. Don't know why I didn't do that yesterday. I did it last night, I just went ahead and pulled all the valve stems off of it. Yeah, I was trying to get a little bit more clean with some acetone this morning, but you know how it goes. So I'm going to go ahead and get set up and start doing this. Hey, let's see if I can do this with a flashlight in my hand. Maybe not. I don't think I need a flashlight, but... Um, here is a flashlight. Yeah, so you can't see it in there at all, but it's super clean. I just went through with the steel wire brush, <clears throat> got off all that carbon, uh, the brass brush just wasn't doing anything, so I'm going to save those in case I need them for something a little more delicate, otherwise known as this guy up here, so go ahead and uh, start, uh, I'm going to hit these with the brass brush real quick, and just get off some chunky, and then I can start lapping these. Yeah, alright, got one done, one, got one done, uh, I think it looks pretty good. As far as uh, any pits, there's a couple in there, little tiny ones towards the bottom. But I'm not all too worried about all that. Eh, maybe I will. Maybe I'll just hit that up. But considering that it, that's what it looked like, look at all that pitting versus that. Yeah, I think I will. Since I'm here, I'm just gonna keep doing it. I got nothing better to do today. I got two down, four to go. Look pretty good. Still a little bit of pitting, but I'm not going for high compression boost. Doesn't look like that. Doesn't look like that. Looks like that. Good enough. Well, we got, let's see, four or five done. This is the fifth one. Still got a little bit of it. It's just leftover shit. Oh, maybe I should hit that one back up. Yeah, I think I will. But, uh, for the most part, yeah, I got these guys done. Uh, they're taking forever for the first three, so I switched it up. Yeah, buddy. All right, keep on trucking. All right, 
eight down eight to go but looking at these I think that somebody has done these in the past or if not they're really not that bad at all so this should go a lot quicker than the first eight just got done doing up the lapping of the exhaust and the intake here looking pretty good looking pretty good just uh, went ahead and threw the um, uh, the spring retainers and the uh, stem cell seals back on there stem retainers the spring retainers whatever the seats these spinny things on the bottom here so now I'm going to attempt to put one of these guys back on keeping in mind the orange are for the uh, intake here all right all right got everything back in managed to keep everything in order via the I made my little exhaust transmission facing that way intake kept everything perfectly firm now I'm literally down to the very last one by the way this valve keeper it's a little sketchy but shit man it fucking works it's really good um that's the one Amazon I don't remember how much it was but I don't remember <laughs> I don't remember buying it so couldn't have been that much all right, so this guy, I lost this piece, if you remember earlier in the video, which is probably, I don't know, three minutes ago for you, but for me, it was six or seven hours ago. Lost that piece. So now I'm down to the last one. So now I have to like literally clean all this shit, scour the floor again. I literally took every piece of trash out of there and there's a lot in there. And looked all the way down to the bottom and couldn't find it. So it's here somewhere. I'll let you know when I find it. Right fucking there. Oh. Well, like I said earlier, at least it was this piece and not the, uh, not the keeper, of which I still have. Two left. Woo, sweet. So now I can do this. That didn't take me as long as I thought. It only took me about 15 minutes of looking, but still, I spent, I learned a lesson. Acetone and solo cups don't work, so I want to get this guy in there. I'm all done and I almost fell over look at that oh once again I'm totally patting myself on the back for having accomplished something I didn't think I could do but I guess I can do it sweet I'm gonna open my own damn car shop now all right time to get that thing on that there you should probably get something from the bottom here I look pretty good and even Nothing insane going on. Oh, that's a beautiful, aren't they? Yes, pretty. Alright, I got the head all cleaned up. I got to set it uh, top to the center down there. Probably going to throw that guy on. That guy's all cleaned up. Let's do it. So I just opened up this guy to put it on. And it turns out that um, this guy is says 01 through 94, 1.6. I'm thinking that's 01 through 04 or something. If you look at the size of these, that's freaking huge. Compared to over here, yeah, that thing was, it stuck out and it didn't match up at all. So there's something else I get to return, which is a bummer because I didn't really want to use the quality OE Evergreen, you know. Whatever, whatever. It'll work, it looks good. I like that black on silver. Right, heads back on. That went on nice and easy. Let's get some head bolts on, huh? Weird shit. So all these are 14s, except this one's a 13. I pulled it out and I measured against the other ones and they're the exact same length. I just can't figure out why one would be a 13 and one would be a 14. I mean, they're both up against that bolt. You can see they're not like taller than the other, but you can definitely see that there's a size difference. 13 and a 14. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Looked in the book. Doesn't say anything in the book about nothing like that. It says if it fact says they're 10 millimeters, so fuck who knows. Alright, got them all them head bolts in there. Looking pretty good. I think it's looking pretty freaking good. That's about it for me tonight. Uh, it's darker than it looks, but dark out there 
Um, not sure what time we're hitting right now, but uh, I got 8.10. Another 10 hour day. Sweet. Um, half of that I spent looking for the little fucking piece. So, all right. Uh, these need to be torqued down, but I'll do that tomorrow. I also need to put this side thing on here. Um, aside from that, it's going to be just a lot, of, a lot of fucking plug and play. Torque, torque, time. Fire it up. All right. Let's break this down.